And in your interaction with Jesus, you need to be real and not crowd-minded. You need to realize you came here alone. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Ah, is somebody hear what I'm saying? I can tell you in all humility, it is impossible for nothing to happen in this place tonight. The issue is, who will it happen to? Blessed are those that hunger and thirst, but they shall be filled. And that day as I began to cry, my twin brother tapped me and said, keep quiet. Stop crying. Say what you want to say. And I shut him up. What's your business? As if you don't, you as if yourself understand what he's saying. So the teacher was shocked that two of us did not understand. And he has been talking and talking and talking. And that day, he said, please tell me where the problem is coming from. That's why they are paying me. Tell me. Don't worry. Just tell me. I'm here to listen. He shouldn't have said that. But that night, I, or that afternoon, I poured out my heart. I said, sir, all my life, listen, don't laugh. All my life, I have always known two plus two is what? Come on, you're not sure? Two plus two is what? I've always known that you add numbers with numbers. I've always known that you subtract numbers from numbers. There is no number you can put multiplication sign with and I will not get it. I understand all these things. But something started happening in GS class which I have kept quiet about till now. I started noticing they were putting letters with numbers. I started noticing they were putting square roots on it. Sometimes they will put a dash and put a decimal under it. Nobody in class is speaking up. Nobody is challenging the master teacher. I know they don't understand it too. But sir, this is my problem. My teacher shouted ah three times. Ah, ah, ah. Meaning he was journeying with my question. Pay attention. Because when you hear a man talk or when you hear or see a person behave, you can journey with them to know where they are in their faith. Kai, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? This has helped me a lot not to waste time when I stand before a set of people. Not to waste two and a half hours saying what they don't need. Just because we can say it. When you hear a person talk, you can journey with the person to see where the person is in their faith. And that man journeyed with me from GS3. Arrived in GS2 and realized that I was not in GS2. And that's why I shouted what? Ah. Journeyed with me to GS1 and realized that a GS1 should not be asking this question. So he shouted what again? He journeyed with me to primary 6 and discovered that even primary 6, they should already understand this. So this guy is probably in primary five. And so he shouted the last words. Ah. I could easily have cheated him GSS3 again. Of course, like I did. This time around, I had olives. But we still went to SS1. Don't worry about how we became what we are. God's mercy interrupted the journey. I will get to SS1, wear trousers call juniors, send them a message and feel like a senior. But what class am I in? I pray somebody is not just listening to the story. I pray that you are seeing what I'm saying. Because in every subject in your life, you have a class. And for many of you, you are in SS1 on your health. And in the anointing, as far as ministration, you are a PhD holder. It is that SS1 in your health that will keep you from using that anointing for a very long time. For some of you, 
in your finances, you are in primary three. And in fact, you fight those who have PhD on the subject. Every manifestation has a light that makes it happen. Did you hear what I said? And as we pray, feel free to focus on the subjects that you have lack in. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Declare after me loud and clear. I see. I, see. I, hear. I hear. I know. I, know. I, do. I do. Shout it one more time. I see. I, see. I, hear. I hear. I know. I, know. I, do. I do. Scream it at the top of your voice. I see. I, see. I, hear. I hear. I know. I, know. I do. One last time, I see you. I hear you. I know. I do. Three CSC fathers were on the mountain and they were declaring these words for three days. I see. I hear. I know. I do. They said it until the third day. At the end of the third day, they were hungry, wanted to break their fast. And one of them called for a bushmeat. He called it and it appeared. Because as you declare these things to yourself, it begins to dawn on you. I learned this very early too. And I remember practicing it before administration. Micah 3 8, but truly I'm full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I left out the remaining, I just stayed there. I'm full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I spoke it for about four hours, about to head for the ministration. Rinsed my, fa- my hands, rinsed my face, came out of the toilet, and said, I'm full of power. And the book blew. Went for that ministration. And it was disaster from beginning to the end without a single sermon or opening of scripture. I said, let us pray. And that was the end. So I began to learn because many of us have heard about confession before. The reason you are not giving yourself to it is because you have not yet what? Sin. In the course of this weekend, we might talk about giving. The reason you have not yet begun to engage yourself in giving is because you have not yet what? Seen. In the course of this weekend, every subject that is being expounded, I promise you, for most of you, you have had it somewhere before. Yes or no? That's why it's sad. Because the average young person today is already full of much information and yet cannot prove all the things that we have heard and we are still looking for more what? Information. And so the answer is prayer. Can we say prayer? Prayer converts what you have heard to revelation. I'm going to rise up to pray in a minute. I'm expecting everybody's back. Is everybody back? Ushers, how many people are left? Are they all done?